Hey guys, Austin here and welcome to the very first how-to guide here on the channel. Um, I'm going to keep this intro brief, but at the same time, uh, the first time I'm doing something like this, so we'll see how this goes. Yes, the thumbnail did not clickbait you. We are in Orspawn. This is Orspawn. There is Orspawn around us. Today we're going to be talking about the Apple Cow in Orspawn and essentially how does it work, where is it spawn, what can you do with it, etc. Um, and the reason why I'm starting things off with the Apple Cow is because I didn't want to go too crazy right off the bat. I want you guys to understand sort of how the series works, so we're just doing the Apple Cow today. Um, but before we get into that, I want to say that, yes, I am starting a brand new series on the channel where I essentially take mobs from certain mods or vanilla Minecraft, but right now we're focusing on Ore Spawn because I barely ever covered that. I mean, when's the last time I did an Ore Spawn series? Definitely not a month ago or anything, but that's besides the point. Um, uh, yeah, so for the coming weeks, months, etc., uh, I'm going to be doing how-to guides on certain things in Ore Spawn. It can range from mobs to bosses to certain features within the mod. And, of course, if I want to swap things up or if you guys would like me to cover something else, you can always suggest in the comments. But just treat this sort of like a mod showcase, but instead of the mod I'm showcasing, I'm showcasing certain items. Because, fun fact, out of all the however many mod showcases I've done, I've never done a mod showcase on Ore Spawn. Personally, I think Ore Spawn's a very special thing, guys. You know, it has girlfriends and everything. It's a very special, unique mod. So, I'm going to be covering separate topics individually within or spawn that's my game plan so if you guys are excited for that smash that like button keep in mind this is not going to be a let's play or anything this is just going to be me talking about things in or spawn and how they work also let's start things off by just explaining or spawn is not a mod pack or spawn is not crazy crap before anyone comments down below well this isn't crazy crap that i get that or spawn is a mod within the mod pack known as crazy craft but Ore Spawn is its own separate mod. Anything that I showcase within this Ore Spawn mod is about Ore Spawn. Just keep that in mind, everyone. So before anyone's like, but you could use the Chicken Chest or an Inventory Pet. That, that has nothing to do with this. That is different mods, different things I might cover in the future. But just keep in mind, we're focusing on Ore Spawn. So let's get right into this. Uh, so the Apple Cow. It's different from a normal cow, because if you guys don't know, this is the normal cow. It moves, it's disgusting. Uh, this is the apple cow. Very different. Similar color palette, but it is red. It has 10 health, similar to the normal cow. Um, it is red and white and green, so it's really cool. It's got like a ruby tint to it. It's a beautiful creature. It moves, uh, as you might expect here. Let's actually, let's actually get our... Our sound situation. That's not sound. I always mix that up. Um, we'll put friendly creatures up a bit since we are talking about this boy. So let me hit him again. Yep, that is the that is the moo of an apple cow, all right? You can tell. So first things first, how do you get it? Well, there are two ways to get... Also, I apologize for all the birds everywhere. Like, it's so annoying. So how you get the apple cow is first things and foremost, the easiest way is they just spawn in your world. They can spawn in any biome, to my knowledge, and in any dimension since we're talking about ore spawn. Um, they cannot spawn in the nether or the end, however, but in all the ore spawn dimensions, I believe they all, they can spawn in any of them, um, except the crystal dimension, aka the termites, uh, those do not have the ability to spawn them, but how you'll find them in patches of, like, four, five, or six, or whatever, similar to how you see the, uh, the golden apple cows over there, keep in mind we are not talking about those guys today, they might be for a future video, but yes, so we have the, the apple cows are just chilling here, mooing about, um, the mantis might kill them. I'm not responsible for what the mantis does. Uh, I'm gonna try to avoid him to my best abilities though But if anything does come around, I'm going to have to kill it with the uh, royal guardian sword So I'm gonna keep that on me just in case But you're probably asking yourself well, what happens when oh, there's a caterpillar over there What happens when you kill an apple cow? Well, let me tell you He moves and if you kill him he has the ability to drop one of three things apples leather or Raw beef. Keep in mind, this may be powerful sword, but it has no looting on it. So if I were to kill one cow, the ratio which it drops the items, as you can see, varies. But normally, it's about two apples, two leather, two beef. Sometimes just a piece of beef. Um, but for the most part, it seems it drops all three. Uh, now, of course, this is different from a regular cow, because regular cows do not drop apples. That is why this is known as the apple cow. Um, really cool creature. You also have the ability to catch these in critter cages. So if you take a critter cage, go over to the nearest... Why did I put that spawn egg away if I was going to be using it? Go over to the nearest apple cow. 
throw a career cage at it as you can see you catch them pretty crazy but it does happen um this is just what it looks like when it is in the item frame of a captured apple cow but again you see an apple cow throw the critter cage at it um, i'll just quickly show you if you guys want to know how to craft a critter cage that's how you do it but we're not talking about critter cages right now the apple cows um spawn egg is craftable you are going to need to find the ancient dried cow spawn apple cow spawn egg to pull that off so this is what that looks like in your world um you can find in any sort of mountain biome or any like sort of above mining area um, this is the egg you are looking for how you or the spawn dried spawn egg I guess and once you get that what you will need to do is get a water bucket and you place it in your crafting grid with just that and you will achieve the apple cow spawn egg now you're probably asking yourselves Austin can you breed the apple cows the answer is yes so if I get two apple cows and get some wheat um, as you can see they're breedable you can actually have an apple cow farm. Set it up how you normally do any of your cow farms. Once you're done with the parents, you murder them. You get all the food. The baby may be home. or He's not homeless. He's um, parentless. I know it's sad, but don't worry. I'm sure he'll grow up and die also. Um, but yeah, so that is basically how you can do your own here. We'll, we'll give him his parents back. Uh, trust me, they're the same kid. Anyway, uh, so that is how you can breed them. It's really cool, really unique. Um, not really compared to the cows, but I always did like the design of the apple cows. It's also one of the things that kind of spouts ore spawn to me. Anytime in the past I've ever thought of ore spawn, I've thought of the cows, the different apple cows. Um, of course, like I've said, there is golden, enchanted gold, and crystal as well. Um, but again, we are not focusing on them today. We are just focusing on the traditional apple cow. Um, that being said, there isn't much more I can think of that you can use these guys for. Oh, can you milk them? Yes, that is something we should definitely test. I don't actually know. If I right-click him, it does not appear that you can milk the apple cow. Very interesting. It'd be, it be it would have been weird if they would have added a way to get, like, apple juice from it. But, um, no, you cannot milk the apple cow to get milk. Very interesting that you can't, however, uh, but that is a thing. Now, I believe that is all there is to talk about for the apple cow. If you're wondering how they stack the spawn eggs, you get 64. For the cage, you get 16. And for the ancient dried egg, you get 64. Now, like I said, guys, in the future, any more of these kind of how-to guys that I do will be as in-depth as this. I know this was just an apple cow, so it didn't seem like much. But the video lengths will vary depending on what we are talking about. Um, it's really crazy. Uh, for bigger bosses in the future, like the king, if I review how to fight the king or whatever, um, I'm not going to literally fight the king because that would take way too long. I might, however, in create, uh, I'll see, I'll see what I'm going to do for that. But like I said, this is just a test video sort of to see how people appreciate this. And again, these are how to guides. So keep in mind, it's not going to be in concrete order. I'm going to try to kind of do them in order, but I'm just going to pick a random topic and or spawn and talk about it. And again, Keep in mind once more, this is not solely about ore spawn, but right now I'm just doing ore spawn first because one, I know you guys love ore spawn on the channel. Everyone seems to love the crazy craft mod pack. So I figured I'd do some how to guides with ore spawn. So that's going to do it for the first episode of this series. If you guys did enjoy, definitely smash the like button, show your support, subscribe. If you are new, do not forget to click that notification bell so you're notified anytime I upload a video. I don't know when the series is going out. If it's going out, um, it could go out every other day. I'm just going to base this on how the first video does. So if you guys want to see this video go out as much as possible, smash the like button, show your support by watching it, share it with your friends if anyone else is getting into Minecraft or, or Spawn. This is definitely the type of guides you might want to see. And also, follow me on my social media, at UltraUnit17 on Twitter. Um, I'll pro I normally tweet out any video I upload. At least I'm trying to keep a steady memory of doing that. Um, I'm not really a social media person, but I figured I might as well start doing it with stuff like this. But yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see. Oh yeah. One more thing I forgot to talk about before I end off the video. Um, uh, the download, if you guys want to download or spawn it, the link to the website that the mod is on will be in the description. It's just orspawn.com, but yeah, you can download this mod for yourself. I'm not gonna have to download for anything else. I use like just enough items or anything. That's all gonna be just my own tools I'm using to showcase the mod. They're not part of it. Just keep that in mind. But thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.